Right, so another guitar in. Uh, this time I've bought a kick guitar. Um, I paid £150 for this. It's a Jagstang. I um, bought it off eBay from a seller called Mr. Guitar Limited. Um, he had it up for £165, best, best offer. I got down to £150, which ain't a bad price, I think. So um, I'll start off with the, the neck. Uh, it's a 24-inch scale Jagstang type, obviously, guitar. Um, it's got the Rose Racer fingerboard, which is like a thermally treated maple. I think Harley Bent and use it. But, um, yeah, actually, don't feel too bad. So it's got your large headstock. Um, feels nice and smooth. There's a few little crappy bits of wood in the maple there. So it's got a skunk stripe down the back. It's got remnants of a few knots knocking around. Don't really bother me, looks pretty smart. Uh, C profile neck. So it's 24 inch scale, it's got medium jumbo frets. Uh, feel a bit rough, they could have a bit of a uh, sorting out. Um, but yeah, not really, the frettings ain't really that sharp actually. Quite impressive, plastic nut. And, yeah, 22 frets. So, yeah, that don't feel too bad, you know. Alright, on to the body. So this is got a preloaded pit guard on. Uh, by the looks of it, it's only got the humbucker preloaded. So it looks like I'm going to have to wire the P90 in. It did say minimal soldering required, so that ain't a problem. It's got a free ply torquoise pit guard, a definitely blue. Actually, that's got pretty nice. Good finish. Polyurethane finish. It's a basswood body. It's got actually got a really nice weight to it. Oh, it's pretty schnazzy. Definitely blue on the contrasting torque pit guard. So you've got zebra humbucker, three-way control switch, volume tone control, output jack. Yeah, that's pretty smart. It's got the hole pre-drilled for the strap buttons. And the bridge. Yeah, good finish to it. Right, so then we get onto the electrics. So you get a jack lead. Okay, so electrics. Alright, so all the other stuff should be in this bag. So we've got the ceramic. P90 pickup. So looks like it's got the fixing screws in there. Um, they look like the tuners. It's got the vintage style tuners. Sort of, they look like the vintage style, but they've actually got the modern style fittings on the end. Um, comes with a set of strings. Don't know how good they'll be, but we'll whack them on for starters. Neck plate. The screws and the plastic surround. I won't put that plastic surround on, I'll just put the metal plate on. And it's a bridge that so looks like, um, pretty much looks like a, a bullet, square bullet bridge. It's not a string through body, top loader, which I'm not really fussed about. Um, I don't mind either. But yeah. And it's got the tip for the three way selector switch. Okay, so let's start putting it together, I reckon. I suppose the first thing we need to do is take this pit guard off. They haven't put all the screws in, so we'll just take that off, have a quick look behind what's going on there. But so far, I'm actually really impressed with this kit. Um, you can buy kits similar to this that are unpainted for less money, obviously, about £130 I've seen similar kits. But um, yeah, it's worth paying the extra 20 30 pounds just to have it painted. If I'm, if I'm honest, it saves a lot of hassle. Right, so rooted out with no shielding paint in there, so that's something I'll have to do. Pretty good, pretty good routing, if I'm honest. Um, it's got the hole there to join up to the grounding strap for the, um, the bridge. It's got really small pots. Um, there's the back of the humbucker, very simple wiring. So all I need to do, I suppose, is put the 
the P90 in and then uh, the hot goes to that little connector and then I'll do a ground to there and then there's got to be a ground that goes off to that bridge and that's pretty much the wiring done so yeah well, that's pretty nice man all right so I think the first thing I'll do is I'll I'll probably put that bridge in get that grounding strap in there okay so that's what you got the wires strip down probably do a little bit more on that one actually So for the first part of the video, I'll obviously just put this together, see what it sounds like straight out of the box, so what you get for straight off eBay, um, and then I'll come back in another video and I'll do a few tweaks to it, I'll put shielding paint in and do a few little bits and bobs like paint the, the neck and whatever, but yeah, so straight out of the box, this will just give you an idea of what it'll be like. So that's the grounding wire in, get this bridge in place. So it's really important to make sure this ground wire has a good contact with the, the bridge there. I should be getting a lot of buzzing. So it's actually good that all the holes are uh, all there for you. Ain't got to mess around. So this, if you're getting into sort of your first guitar, this could be a really good option and also, you know, Gives you a good idea of the internals of a guitar. But um, yeah, in terms of being a, a more experienced guitarist, um, I think it actually looks pretty decent. And it's a good cheap alternative to get a Jagstang. I know it's a slightly different setup, but the, the proper Fender Jagstangs are a lot of money nowadays and are quite hard to come by. Okay, bridge is on. Next figure reckon, get the pickup ready. So in with the soap bar P90 pickup, you've got the screws for it and also the screws for the strap button. Let's see where we're gonna go with that. Uh, could be quite tricky to line up. If I, what I'll do, I'll just put a screw in either corner, just so I know that's lined up right. Right, so let's put some guide holes in. I'm not going to go too far in. I don't want to go through the other side of the body. We're lined up alright. Looks pretty good to me. And it even comes with some solder. So what you need is a solder line. Alright, so I'm gonna feed that hot wire through. And I'll just kink it over a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a bit of heat on the back of the, the lug there. On. So the next job is to get this ground wire on. I'm going to put it on the volume pot. There's a big blob of solder there with a few grounds on, so I'm going to go for that one. Stick a big blob on top of that. Sat down. Okay, so just putting all the pit guard screws on. Select a tip on. Okay, well now I put the strap buttons on so you get a little like, foam washer which will go out of the way. And the holes again pre-drilled. So 
No messing around. The body is done. Let's put the tuners on now. So it comes with two string trees and by the looks of it you've got to drill the holes for them. So we'll put them on when we um, when we've got the strings on. So you've got the, the little ferrules there for the tuners. Let's get them in. And also with the string trees you've got the spacers, there's a small one and a, a larger one. So these tuners, you get four that are like that, and then you get two end pieces. So let's make sure we get them in the right order. Let's line them all up. The holes are all pre-drilled on the back, which saves a lot of messing around. So you just line these up, and then you have sort of one screw that goes in between two of the tuners, which holds them all together. So just make sure you get them all. So just make sure you get them all lined up. Good snug fit in that neck pocket there. Oh, make sure we're in right. That ain't going nowhere. So let's turn it up. Like I said before, I'll put the neck plate on. I don't like using these little plastic bits. So I'll go straight on like that. Like I always say, neck pockets, um, don't use power tools. Hand tight only, because you can cause a lot of damage. You can thread out the the neck and uh, you're in a lot of trouble then. So these are quite chunky screws. So let's get them in. I won't go fully all the way in, I'll leave a little bit and then once I've got them all in then I'll tighten it right down. Alright so just before I fully tighten them down I like to just have a little look, make sure everything's correctly lined up, just eyeball it and yeah, we look good there, so it's going to go full on turn. So when you're tightening these up, just don't go overly mad. Just till, you know, you get a good bit of resistance. Right, so the next thing is just put some strings on it, which come with the, the set. And, um, and we'll see how well she's set up straight out of the box. Okay, so I've put the strings on, tuned it up to pitch. Um, first thing I've noticed is the nut slots are not deep enough. Um, so when you play the first couple of frets, it's really sharp. So bear that in mind, um, this is going to need adjusting. If you're not confident with setting up guitars, I suggest if you put it together, take it to a professional, get them to set it up because it does need some professional adjustment. Um, the intonation is also going to need doing. Um, but what I may do with this personally is I'll replace this nut with like a, a bow nut or a tusk nut. So um, yeah for today's video I'm not even going to bother setting it up properly because there's no point. The strings got to come off. The intonation will all need changing and once I start putting a different nuts, nut on um, all this is going to be out. So for today's video again just this is how it is out the box. So let's just check these electrics. So that's the humbucker. It's both. Neck. Just, uh, so neck. Middle. And just that bridge. Yep, yeah, all the electrics work. Yep. Yeah. Good, so we've got the electrics working. Yeah, I was going to do the string trees. But again, I may leave that for the next uh, video. So what I'll do now, I'll plug it in uh, and just give you a quick idea of what it sounds like as it is out the box and put together. So yeah, let's try it. All right, so I got it plugged in. It's middle position. Onto that neck. Bro. 
coverage. Alright, so this is the bridge pickup. It's almost got that um, single coil type, you know, uh, sort of telly quack sound to it. So I'm not sure if it's the pots or the actual humbucker itself, but uh, put a bit of overdrive on. So this is the bridge pickup. Middle. there's much of a difference between the three if I'm honest um, I think if I change the pots and the cap I know a lot of people are a bit on the fence about it but I think that will really make a difference in terms of bringing a bit more tone out of their pickups but um, yeah we'll we'll give it a go see what happens I think I'll have a little uh, play about this guitar um, I'll do a few videos of it do a few different um, you know Things we can do to make it sound better, maybe end up changing the pickups out, I don't know. I think that P90 should sound a lot better than it actually does, and that humbucker, I think it's just a bit um, weak sounding, so we may not get a better sound out of that, but I think the P90 we could make sound better. But in terms of playability, I actually really do like the neck, it's got a really nice feel to it. Um, you wouldn't think it's a, a sort of lowing guitar, but um, yeah, straight out of the box, the frets ain't actually too bad. It could do with a little bit of smoothing down but yeah nothing that's gonna rip your fingers open it's just yeah it's got a nice chunk to it, it feels like a vintage modified sort of classic vibe squ uh, squire neck obviously without the finish on it but we can do something with that 
Um, I'm actually interested in trying out some uh, true oil. Um, I've seen a lot of people use that and it looks like it gives it a nice finish and a, um, a sort of tint to it. So I may try some of that on this and actually may do the headstock um, to sort of do that and put a decal on it. So yeah, straight out of the box, quickly put together, didn't take me long at all. Um, yeah, it's nice and simple. Again, if you're a complete beginner with guitars, I would recommend putting it together so it gives you an idea of the in and outs of a guitar, but um, in terms of a setup, if you're not confident, get a professional to do it because these are going to need a bit of work, especially with that nut. So in future videos, I reckon I'll replace the nut, I'll change the pots and the cap, see how we go with a three-way switch. The bridge seems pretty decent, it's a hardtail bridge, um, there's not a lot about it really, so I'll probably stick with that. The neck, uh, the setup on it actually weren't too bad when I put it back together. The string height was a little bit high, but the neck could have a little bit more of a bow in it. So if I give it a bit of a bow, it may um, sort out the pickup height, intonations out. But yeah, it weren't actually too bad in terms of the string height, but the thing that lets it down was that nut. So that would be a one problem with it. Um, the tuners seem okay. Um, I don't have a problem with them so far. and. A really nice finish to the body. So I'll give you another little close up of that. Again, I bought this off Mr. Guitar Limited off eBay. Um, he's got these on a the bike now, £165 or best offer in the UK. I'm not sure if he ships abroad. But, um, yeah, he had a few different colours in these and other styles of kit guitars. But yeah, for a guitar kit build, £150. That is one cool looking guitar. I do like the sort of Jag Stang style. And, um, yeah, it's even got a bit of remnants of sort of Kurt Cobain's Mustang as well, with Sonic Blue one. But yeah, this is a nice Daphne Blue. Buswood body again, like I said before, nice weight to it. It's got that large headstock. It's got that composite material fingerboard. And the frets actually feel pretty decent as well. Medium jumbo frets, 22 frets and a 24 inch short scale. One thing, another thing I'd say is these strings feel like 9 gauge. So that'll be another thing I'll do. I'll change them. I prefer 10s on short scales personally. So I'll change the strings to Tengue strings. So yeah, let me know what you think to this guitar kit. Um, £150 for a sweet looking Jag Stang. Um, yeah, let me know what you think to the pickups and what have you. Again, it's going to need a bit of a, a setup, but we'll get there. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's build, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on the progress of this guitar and future guitar builds and mods and what have you. So yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit notifications to all to stop today and we'll see you all soon. Peace.